Hello children, in the last class we have done the structure of the leaf and the types of the leaf. Now we will be doing the arrangement of the leaves. Arrangement of the leaves on a stem is called phyllotaxy. There are three types of arrangement. Alternate arrangement in which only one leaf arises from each node and two successive leaves are in the opposite direction. You have seen this arrangement in the china rose, a very common example. You can see the opposite arrangement. In this two leaves arise from the same node but opposite to each other. You have seen this arrangement in basil and guava plants. World arrangement when more than two leaves arise from the same node and they are arranged in a circle or, or whirl, the arrangement is known as the world arrangement. Example is your nerium. Now we will read about the venation of the leaves. You have seen the veins present in the leaves. Arrangement of the veins and veinlets on the lamina of the leaf is called the venation. Two types of venations are there. Reticulate venation, you can see the reticulate venation, which means network. The word reticulate means network. So, you can see network of veins in the reticulate venation. You can see, see this diagram. It reveals the types of the network pattern present in the leaves. And... You will see such types of venation in people, guava and mango. Parallel venation, when the veins arises parallel to each other, they are equidistant to each other, they are known as parallel venation. Example is your banana, grass and wheat. Now next we come to the next page that is page number 4. You have got one activity is based on the collection of the based on the collection of the leaves. You can do this in your home. You can see the types of the venations present in the different leaves of plants which are present around you. Now this is all for today's class. We will be doing functions of the leaf in your next class. Thank you and have a nice day.